Has your old intercom system recently failed? Don't worry, you can get a brand new DVR-1500 electronic telemarketing system. Just call 1-800-588-2300. Once again, that's 1-800-588-2300. Hi, I'm Milo, and this is the electronic telemarketing system from 1989. So this machine was used to, I guess, telemarket people in 1989. Um, you have your pad here. So you can type in phone numbers, and you have your you have four buttons all along the side A B C D. On the side here you have um, two I guess phone line ports. Um, yeah, <laughs> hook it into your phone line to call people. On the uh, front here you have a little panel that tells you about how to use this machine. Um, you have your volume knob right here, and your microphone jack right here for your mic. Nice, satisfying click. Um, right here you have your one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight digit display, your data light, which tells you when a stream of data is coming into the machine, and your power indicator. Um, you have your tape mechanism here for, this is a data set, so you can actually store phone numbers on this tape. Yeah, I'll show that in a little bit, close up. So the model number of this is the model SRDVR1500, um, and I'm not sure of the brand. It doesn't say a brand anywhere on the machine. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Up here on top we have the uh, battery backup unit, the BBU-1500. You have all your special characters here for, like, accepting or other stuff. So yeah, in a moment here I'm gonna show you how it works, test it out, and let's cut to that. Okay, I'm back and we have it plugged in and now I'm going to power it on. So just watch right here. So, it's telling us to test. So I think right now it's just testing all the inner electronics. The battery backup unit just turned on. And the tape unit just fired up. So now it's asking us for the hour. So this one's like the hour of the day. So right now we're setting the clock. And it's actually a pretty good clock. It's, it keeps time well. I don't know the time right now. So I'm just gonna put 12 o'clock. So you put in 12, 12, zero, zero. So that's 12 o'clock. And then A and B, oh here. So it's star to clear. So if I press A, it puts an A on the screen. And if I press B, it puts a P on the screen. So that stands for AM, PM. So if I put 12, zero, zero, P, that means 12 o'clock PM. That's what it's telling the computer. Now I press pound, now it's asking me for the date. So I'm just going to put in April, and okay, so now it's showing me that it's April, 12 o'clock p.m. Ah, number five, load numbers slash speech from tape, because you can store phone numbers on this. So I'm going to actually load speech so that you can hear what the data set sounds like. Turn up the volume a little bit. It's resetting the tape right now. Okay, now it's playing. And listen for all the beeps that this computer can read. don't really have to listen for it. You see, every time a beep happens, the data light turns on. Now, here I'll test out the microphone. I'll flip the tape over to side B. Actually, 
tape's on the wrong side if I do that. So I'll keep it on this side. So we can actually go D, record. And I'm gonna go, oops, record to chip. No, it's nice. To tape. Yes. Now it's telling me to tape reset. I'm gonna wait for just a second. Okay, so now we're recording on the tape. I have my microphone right here, and you can see the tape is spinning in there. Um, yeah. Let's see how this sounds. Okay. So, now let's go to number five. Load. Speech. Now it's resetting. Has to reset every time for some reason. So now we're recording on the tape. I have my microphone right here. And you can see the tape is spinning in there. Uh, yeah. Let's see how this sounds. Yeah. And that's that. Pretty cool, huh? Reset the tape. Yeah. So if you hit pound or star, sorry, it will error correction. So or you exit the selected mode. So if we go into set clock, I can hit star and it'll take me right out. And then if you hit pound, that's like hitting accept, I guess. So that just brings you into the mode. I think this was also used for telecommunications. It could have been used in like a school for intercom because. I can turn up the volume and talk through this thing still. Yeah. It doesn't have to record onto the tape, but it can. Here, I'll unplug it now and I'll give you a full tour of the back. Okay, so now I'm going to spin it around on my fancy Lazy Susan and show you the back. So here we got all our warning labels. We got our plug for our battery backup unit. This is a battery backup unit. So you can see we have our safety warning on the top of it. And it's a huge lead acid battery in there. Um we got our 3 to 10 amp slow acting fuse right here, our on and off switch. Um, that thingy. We've got the serial number sticker and just like other stuff. I guess more warning.